Hey guys, Izzy from Endless RVing, and in today's video, we're gonna be covering a very important topic. If you own pets and you leave them in your uh, Class A or whatever motorhome or fifth wheel or travel trail you have, you may be interested in this thing. This is the Govi Wi-Fi um, temperature monitor and humidity monitor, so you're not gonna to wanna to miss it. We're going away. So guys, uh, if you had watched previous videos, you would know that uh, one of the upgrades that we did or uh, improvements that we did, we actually installed one of these Govi, Govi um, temperature monitors inside the rig. Um, that's gonna be this right here. Okay, and the reason why we did that is because we have two dogs and we don't have an auto gen start and we do take them to campgrounds uh, when it's warmer outside. And we were concerned that if, for whatever reason, the electricity went off in the campground and the temperature, as you know, can start to quickly rise in these rigs, especially if it's hot out, that there's no way we would know that. So um, by watching some YouTube videos, uh, we had found uh, this device and we have it installed in the inside of our rig. And essentially what it is, it's a um, temperature monitor and it also monitors humidity. It connects to your Wi-Fi, your Wi-Fi network that you have set up on, uh, on the rig, which we do have. Um, if you want more information on how to set up some kind of internet Wi-Fi connection on your rig, we do have a video also on the setup that we have. So you connect this uh, via your Wi-Fi, and then there is an app that goes along with it. The app is called Govi Home, and you uh, download that app. It from, for iPhones, it's on the Apple uh, iTunes store, for Android, I don't know where it is, but I'm gonna assume it's on the Android store where you download it also. And then you add your device and you can actually set up uh, parameters and alerts. So you could monitor uh, the current temperature in the rig according to you know what this is sending out. But the really cool thing is that you can set up alerts. So like the way we have it set up inside is that we, I have it set up at uh, 78 degrees. My thermometer, my thermostat inside the rig is always set up you know, between 70 and 74. So I know if this hits 78 degrees, then there's something wrong because I give it a little leeway. If I get an alert that it is 78 or above, it sends a text message to my phone, it sends a text message to MJ's phone just in case one of us miss it, and then I know something is wrong. So what I'm gonna do today, being that I had set this up prior to us uh, even having a YouTube channel, I'm going to set up a second one, okay? And I'm going to do the unboxing. This is actually going to go in our wet bay, um, the area for our uh, where we have all our main uh, water piping. The reason we're going to have this down there, we're going to set it up the exact opposite. So I'm going to set it up for a low temperature alert. So as you know, if uh, at least with the Numar, the base stars, and the gas coaches, there's no forced hot air down below. So it's getting a little cooler now. It's uh, early October. You can see I have a fleece on. But we're going out in this thing until December 1st. So at some point, um, if we don't get to a freezing temperature, we're gonna get very close to it. And it's very important to monitor the plumbing underneath the rake. In the main cabin, it's gonna stay warm, but underneath where the sewer uh, system is, my fresh water tanks have heating pads, um, but all the lines, the PEX lines running down there, um, the, the uh, water pump, that's not heated. So. We will have a space heater down there, but I really, we're gonna really wanna know and make sure that we're always within a safe uh, parameter so we don't have any issues with stuff freezing down there. So I'm gonna do an unboxing for you live, and then we're gonna set it up down in the basement, and I'm gonna run you through the app on how to set it up and show you exactly how it works. Hey guys, if you like the video you're watching, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below, and also, the notification bell now on to the video okay guys so i'm going to do the unboxing for you live like i said we already uh, installed one of these uh probably five or six months ago and it's been working great ever since so i ordered this from amazon i actually got it on a it, it retails for 49.99 on amazon they had a one day sale and i picked it up i think for 37 dollars um, i'll put the links below 
If you're interested, I think you can only get it on Amazon. Uh, it works really well. It's relatively inexpensive. So we're going to unbox it if you want to get in here. It's going to come, you open up the box, it's going to come your Govi, the actual piece. Okay. And then in here, let's see what's in here. You have your uh, mounting plate. You can mount it one of two ways, either like standing um, like that, or you can mount it on a wall plate, which is what we're going to do. So this is really easy to set up. It's going to come with some 3M uh, double-sided tape. I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use uh, 3M's VHB tape. This is really heavy duty stuff. This is what, I've, what I use when I set it up in our kitchen here. And uh, it's worked really well. It's held up, is a hold up to uh, the different temperatures, whether it's uh, cold or hot, the extreme temperatures, this stuff will hold up. So you're better off just getting a roll of this. I guarantee you're gonna use this on your RV at some point. We've used this multiple times. So pick that up, all right? So how this runs, it's gonna be uh, with three, three AA batteries. Um, they're gonna be right in here. It's gonna come with uh, the, the three, sorry, AAA batteries installed. It's also gonna come with this little blue strip. You're just gonna pull it out. It's gonna allow the contacts to, uh, to connect. You're gonna put that on and then you see it's already working, okay? It has this here at 75 degrees and 61% humidity. So this is gonna be a really easy video, guys. There's no rocket science here. Um, so the way this thing mounts, let's see. Yeah, it's going to just, if you look, it's just going to slide in. So if you get that in here, here's your mounting plate. There's some, a uh, little groove here. You're just going to slide it in and that's it. Slide it in and now it's there. All right. I'm going to just take some VHB tape and put it on the back. This stuff is really sticky guys. So it's two sided tape. Stick some on there. MJ loves when I can't peel this. She loves trying to get it on. So I'm just gonna pull a little uh, piece off here. Uh, you can see it's very difficult to peel. All right, I got it started here. So you see it's 76.9 degrees in here. These heat pumps are really killing it in here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go outside. I'm gonna find the place in the wet bay where I think this will be best and uh, we'll show you exactly how to uh, put it on and then how to set up the app. All right, guys, so we're outside. Um, after looking at this a little more, I actually think I'm gonna add a third one um, just because there's a couple different places which I would wanna monitor. Uh, but for right now, I have one. I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna put it, okay? So uh, I'm gonna put it in the bay where my um, water pump is. So the water pump is right here, okay? Um, as you can see, there's some uh, water lines that are running here. This is definitely a bay where I would put a uh, space heater if it was really cold out. Um, probably somewhere in here just to, just to keep the temperature up in there. So very simple. I'm going to peel off the two side tape. I am going to put it uh, really close to the, actually I'll put it directly across. I'm going to put it directly across the water pump going to hold it down there for a sec right now it's reading about 71 degree uh, 72 degrees it's, it's not too uh, cold out here and there it is if I want to uh, change the batteries all you have to do is just slide this thing up like I did and pop the batteries out these batteries are good for about two months or so it will uh, let you know if it's not working uh, it's going to tell you that you know it needs new batteries so it's held on there. I want to monitor would be over here in the main wet bay. I would probably stick uh, another one somewhere back here because this is where all the uh, sewer outlet pipes are, your gray and uh, black dump. I would stick one right here so I can monitor, you know, making sure that even though this is inside and this is insulated, there's no forced air in here. Uh, I would put a space heater, the uh, temperature monitor, and uh, monitor that. So next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to screen record on my phone and the app. It's going to show exactly how to set it up, and then we'll be done from there. So on the Gobi Home app, you're going to add a new product. You're going to go down and then add your thermometer, the H5051. Once you do that, you're going to connect 
and you're going to hold the middle button on the device for three seconds. Once you do that, it will pair. You'll see the device name, the default name. You can rename it however you want. I renamed ours Water Pump Monitor. Like I said, you can rename it whatever you wish. Once you do this, it's going to default to your Wi-Fi network. Once you connect to your Wi-Fi network, you're going to see all the temperature for that water pump monitor. You can go into settings. Once you go into settings, you're going to be able to uh, set your low temperature alert. We set ours at 70 degrees. Um, you will also see once you set that, your when you back back out, you're going to see the temperature will be in red if you have gone um, outside the, param the parameters of what you set. You see the 65 is in red and you're also going to get a text message alert. So guys, that's it. It's a real easy setup. Um, I hope for anybody that had questions on how to monitor the temperature both inside their rig and outside, I hope this video uh, helped you out. I know it helped us out, especially with our dogs. Uh, we're really concerned. Uh, if we went somewhere and the power went out, you know, what would happen if there was a way for us to know, now we could at least go out with peace of mind. So if you enjoyed the video, we're going to ask you guys to uh, hit the like button, subscribe, share, leave a comment. Uh, we make it a priority if you guys take the time to watch our video and to write a comment. To us, that's huge. So we're always going to take the time to at least answer your questions and comments. Also, I'm going to put below the Amazon affiliate links for the Govi uh, temperature monitor. Uh, I believe the only place you can get it is on Amazon, but if you find it somewhere else cheaper, by all means, get it there. If you're going to buy it on Amazon, it would help us out greatly if you use the link. It's not going to cost you anything more, but what it does, it just throws a couple of cents um, into our Amazon affiliate account, and that's going to allow us to buy some new equipment and to uh, keep up with this video thing. And believe it or not, it's actually a lot of work uh, to do these videos. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you took something out of it and you learned something. Uh, for myself and MJ, who's on the camera, we thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on the road.